Hello everyone, welcome back to Elden Ring. <clears throat> ah, excuse me. So, right now I'm uh, back in single player. As you can see, there are no more messages or anything. Uh, actually, I probably should have launched the game in, in multiplayer anyway, but... Regardless, it, it's because the um, <coughs> uh, the person who uh, was helping me out before said to, to call him again if uh, uh, well when I wanted to try again, but since you know it's gonna take a little while before he actually sees the message, um, I'm gonna be trying by myself. First, what I what I would like to try to get right <coughs> is um, parrying these hits. Wow, that was very close to death. God's name is that. <clears throat> right. So, you know, I'm just gonna learn how to parry a bit. I'll have to parry these hits in particular. Because, <clears throat> you know, there's gonna be timing issues and whatnot. Well, since, since I've died, I guess I could take... No, it's fine. I was gonna say take the opportunity to go back to multiplayer, but I think it's fine. Dragon helmet. So weird. this guy now always has the, the same gear. Before he swapped to like a, a great sword, straight out of Final Fantasy 7 or whatever, now all of a sudden he he's always wielding a spear. Or am I just getting lucky? And how come I can't parry anything? Are his attacks just unparryable or something? I'm gonna assume they are. I don't like using melee, but kind of have to in this context. Since they all dodge the, uh, the magic <clears throat> quite efficiently, which is annoying.
I mean, that, uh, sorry. I needed to crack my, uh, my wrist, and so it didn't really, um, uh, tilt the, the stick forward. Of course, his attacks are faster. Very interesting. I'm still learning. I'm not gonna beat these guys <clears throat> when I'm out of out of flasks after the first dude. Ah. Dodge. Ah. Seriously, the one time. Uh, Oleg could have stunlocked him, and it would have been useful. But of course, he doesn't. <clears throat> All right, time to go 3v2, kinda. 3v1.5, really. I hit, I hit him. I don't care what the, uh, the game says. Oh god. Oh no, he's still alive. Oh, never mind. Where's the other one? There. No, I was trying to roll. But the game decided, nope. You shall not roll. There we go. Well, as I said, I knew I wasn't going to defeat them this time. I could try this, but I get the feeling it would just go to waste. Well, let's try. I didn't actually try this one. This could work. I doubt it, but let's see. After all, you die, you learn. And then you try again. Nice try. Oh. Go. 
Come on, really? When I do a jump attack, I can be hit. Still stupid, but, you know, if it works, it's still stupid, but at least it works. Aw, oh, come on. Very nice. <clears throat> Next. Yes, kneel before me. Come on, really? Did not expect that. Alright. Dodge! There. Oleg. All yours, Oleg. Chances are I'm gonna lose here, so... No! Oh, come on! <clears throat> Being stun locked sucks. Well, at least now I know that this works properly. It works for 
for the situation. I could try the other sword. Hmm. Well, I'll keep trying this one. Because it has a wider range since I'm attacking three people near the end. You know, it just feels like it's a better one. Why is he speeding up? How is he speeding up? That shouldn't be possible, I think. Holy crap, you are a beast! Oleg definitely earned his salary today. Suck it, Roger. Oh, crap. Finally. Great enemy felled. Fears missed. And a bunch of runes. Obviously, first thing to do before going through the strange portal is to level up. Uh, first thing I should check what Fears Mist is as well. Mist of Death. This requires faith. Well, the great sword works wonders. I suppose I'll keep it. So close to 30. I should be able to use a few runes now. I think it was like 23,000, so this should cut it. Why is past time the default interaction? Should be level up. Alright, 994. I can't check what it would be like for, for 31, but I'm guessing it's just a little over a thousand.
Oh, there was Grace there. How did I not see that? Oh, I should probably... Uh, go back to the forum. One sec. Alright. I was just letting them know that I've managed to defeat them. So that... So that they don't uh, try to come in to help. You know, it's not necessary anymore. But I thank them anyway for their help. I say they because uh, one other person offered to help. <clears throat> so, you know, even though they didn't actually um, help out. It was still nice. So they got a thank you as well. So that's it. I'm back at the capital. Well, that's disappointing. Wait, but then where was the, the, the dude? Going back to Rani's rise. Something's off here. I was doing all this for, for Rani. Oh! A thing that doesn't deal lethal damage. Note to self, look before you well, walk in this case. Kind of dumb that of all the things the game, uh, the game saves, elevator state is one of them. At least these elevators. In areas that are ostensibly safe. Unless now I go up and Rennie is just like super pissed about something. Is she asleep? I think she's asleep. Well, um, I guess I'll go. I know he's gone from this area, apparently. I'll check him in, check in on him anyway. Oh no, right, 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 right. He was um, back at the castle. He was here. Man, he's gone. As is Alexander. You know what? Whatever. The uh, these quests are uh, the 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 quest format doesn't work in an open world setting. It worked in the previous Dark Souls games uh, because it was a fairly linear game. So you met one character, then you met him again uh, at another point, and so on. Here it doesn't work, and it's one of the reasons why I think the open world actually detracts from uh, from the rest of the game, because they just didn't adapt or even give any thought to adapting any of the mechanics from the game. Okay, there's a cave there.
And what did I mark here? An observatory. Uh, where? You. Who? Yeah, you there. Stop pretending you can't see me. I, I really can't. Why won't anyone look me in the eye? I'm, I'm not that ugly, am I? I think it's the bush. It is the bush, but I have no way of interacting with it. It's actually strange. Not too strange for uh, for what's expected in these games, but it's definitely strange. Limgrave Tunnels. Have I been here before? No. But they all have this... Um, like th those areas where you jump off from the elevator. <laughs> ah, god. It does feel like this starting bit is always recycled. Nope, that, that was not intentional. Didn't mean to step on the button, but whatever. You are free. I'm sure you won't see it that way. Oh, that's just one dude. Looked like two. I mean, there are two, but I mean, this one looked like two. Right, smithing stone one. I guess I could start upgrading my sword finally. Eh. Let's just <clears throat> cut to the chase here. I don't have... who? I don't have the time nor the patience to just start uh, using the sword. Let's get this done. There are still some of them here, which means there are smithing stones that I haven't gathered yet. Right, so I guess this is the, the first tunnel that I was supposed to go to.
This always feels like a trap. But I guess it's just a, a tunnel. This was too soon. Or was it? I guess not. Somber smithing stone? Yes. Let's get the elevator back down. Boss fight. Definitely feels like it. Come on, open that. That was just sad. That was just really, really sad. It made me sad. Alright, let's check the Roar Medallion. This is Roar and Breath Attacks. Okay. Well, um... Yeah, I'll leave this marker here. Beacon. <clears throat> right. All right. Well, um, that is everything for today. So, as always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you again next time.